they have had their fun and now they're looking to settle down with a good black man. These black women can be found all over the place trolling for decent men. This video is for black men in their late 20s, early 30s and above. This age group of men are the ones who will see black women come back to their senses after years of whoring around, breeding with thugs, non-black men, climbing the corporate American ladder and even a stint into lesbianism. You younger decent black men who are struggling with the problems with getting young black women now can rest assured they will have their fun before they come back to you later on. That's how it goes with them. I'm not really referring to black women who got divorced due to a cheating husband or widowed since they attempted to do what was right from the start. This is about the women who were never married because, because they never thought about it until they got too old to play the field against younger women or their expectations were unrealistically sky high. You can go to any dating site or nightclubs and see the hot mess that is out there for yourselves with women past their primes who are looking for stable men. Some are blatant when letting you know they're tired of playing games. Basically hoard out while others try to hide it but they can't. Personally, I stay away from internet dating and nightclubs because it has too many loser women on there looking to roll the dice with who they can bag up with their tricks. They have little to lose since so many lonely men will grovel to them out of desperation for companionship. Few men will meet good women online or in a nightclub. All of this is audacity in its purest form. What makes women think they can come back to the very same men they shun in their primes is a mystery. They think men don't have memories about being dissed when they try to approach them when they had it going on. The good black man is the one I am talking about here and not the thugs and dope dealers because they always got top quality looking black women like it was nothing. I guarantee many of those bad boys from the past are either dead, in prison or smoked out on some street corner somewhere. I remember a fine black woman I went to college with at Georgia State University in Atlanta. She was too fine to talk to the black men there and I saw her routinely being chaperoned around a campus with a blatantly homosexual male cheerleader. It was such a terrible sight every time I saw it. Later on, I saw her in a rap video of the rapper T.I. and who knows what else after that. Fast forward years later, I just happened to run into the same woman at a downtown Atlanta and it was a shocking sight. The woman looked to have gained around 100 pounds and could barely walk in her shoes. Now she was looking at me with such a humble look because she was downright busted. I have seen others just like her on Facebook in similar shape asking where are the good men at now. These women know what good black men are but they do not want them until they are ready for him later on down the road. They want a fool on standby who they can take out of storage when the time is right. They really feel as if black men have no option but to wait on them until they're done whoring around or doing whatever they feel like doing. There are good black men with stable jobs who will sit back and wait for black women to have their fun and take them in with their baggage also. This is what is considered a good black man these days. The one who will take on other men's burdens when the time is right. To me, these black men suffer from low self-esteem or they are just not really all that physically presentable. Let's be honest here, the bare belly and the sloppy physique will kill self-confidence like raid on cockroaches. It is men who are in shape, confident and with decent paychecks who say hell no to washed up women that stir up anger. This is because most single black women feel that since black men are powerless in society, he should have no choice in what is thrown at him. Certain black men prefer to opt out of this mess altogether and date non-black women instead, while many decent black men just stay at home and out of sight. Which brings up another issue, and that is about older non-black women now looking for black men. These women are also increasing in numbers. I remember seeing this old article of a white woman stating why she likes black men now. It was because she supposedly liked their smooth skin, how they appreciated her more, and how white men did not know how to please her, blah blah blah. She then said something I found highly offensive. She said black men can now have someone like her that they could not have had when she was younger. Basically. She is now a white man's reject but a black man's prize in her expired form. There are quite a few of these white women out here just like this one looking for the best type of black man of all. It should be no surprise they are being chosen over black women increasingly too. Many single black women know they have screwed up and have nowhere to turn really. This is why one can see them on TV begging for Jesus, begging for men in church, while having a pastor fleece their pockets at the same time. I would laugh at it all if it were not so sad to look at. Others are on a non-black man chasing tip, but few will have luck there either. Men are men regardless of race and seek the same things in women in general. As men and by nature, younger women just look better to look at and they are far more valuable if they do not have children. Why should men settle for old goods when a younger model is standing by? 
A woman who has children by two or more different men has zero value to me in a relationship. Other women will try to play the one-up competition game and go for younger men, but it has failure written all over it. Younger men only use older women for money and their cars, which they in turn give to their younger and more attractive girlfriend. Men by nature will always prefer younger women, so how the Stella got her groove back is mostly Hollywood fantasy. These days, I encounter more mature black women always looking at men like me than before. They want to know if I am with someone, do I have any friends like me, do I have any children, do I have a stable job, and why am I not jocking them like they think I should? Call it pride, call it arrogance, call it being cautious or whatever, I do not want them when they are past their primes. I am not asking for much by wanting a woman at her best, but since I am black, this does not go down well in the minds of most black women. Black women listening to this will get offended because they know what I am saying is true. They know women have a limited shelf life that starts to go downhill very quickly past 30 years old. They know men age better and are considered a better catch when they are older and established. Women hate to have to compete with younger and more tender looking women and they know it is no contest at all. Black women have no one else to blame since they have done what no other race of woman on earth has done. For the last 15 years or so, they have boldly declared they do not need their own men. They have told their men in so many humiliating ways that they mean nothing without money. Many black men have gotten the message and have done exactly what black women were demanding of them, to get away from them. Now, black women are bitching that their own men do not want them. This is a sick mentality running rampant with them and it is little wonder why so many are not wanted for marriage or even casual sex. So much for the feminist theology thinking time was on your side. It's not so much fun now is it ladies?